In a world where you got people who just uh, bitch about anything, in a world where you see grown men making video after video after video saying a game, a video game, you know, that's not on their preferred piece of plastic is quote unquote dying and it's going to fail X amount of things, it's a cash grab. Hey, that right there wraps up the crumb side of YouTube in a nutshell. But hey, you already know how it is. Let's go ahead and get into this, man. So I have been everywhere. I've been on Twitter looking at these messages. I have seen tweet after tweet after tweet. I have seen people be fed up about this where they're showing off screenshots saying that this was, you know, this had a blue filter on it, right? And, and the brightness was tweaked, which is why you're getting the image you're seeing now. You got people saying it's downgraded who haven't even played the damn thing. You got people just screaming downgrade, downgrade, downgrade over pictures that don't even look like they were running on a PS4 Pro, but whatever, you know, it just X amount of things. They told you back a while back, too, because a lot of people are bringing this up as well. I made a stream, obviously, yesterday. I asked, you know, is Spider-Man still a day one buy? If you missed that stream, go check it out. But on that very stream, I asked, is it still a day one buy? It was pretty unanimous with everybody that it's still a day one buy. A lot of people were like, I'll see it. I'll believe it. You know, these downgrades when I see them with my very own eyes. And that should be the mentality of everybody when it comes to these video games. And to be honest with you, the visual representation of the game does not mean that the game is going to be or bad or anything. You know what I'm saying? You can have the greatest looking game of all time. Hell, I can make, what's that game called? Aliens Colonial Marines. I, if if Naughty Dog made Aliens Colonial Marines look on par with The Last of Us Part 2, would that make Aliens Colonial Marines a great game? No, that game was still a steaming piece of shit. Just saying. Just saying. The graphical fidelity doesn't do shit for the game, aside for just help with the presentation. That's it. Graphics just help immerse you in the game a bit. That's it. And you look at the game now, it's all a different art direction. That's all it is, people. It's a different art direction. It's different lighting. They take, yeah, they're not you they're not showing as many puddles. You know, it's a hashtag puddle gate, right? It's they're not showing that many puddles. But my thing is this, does it really matter? Doesn't matter. Is, is the lack of puddles really going to affect the package of Spider-Man? Is it really going to affect the fact that Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4 has more villains than it's ever had in the history of a Spider-Man game? Is it going to change the fact that the web swinging has been officially like well crafted specifically for this game? Hmm? Does that change anything? Does it change the fact that the, that the characters, like you know, the, the civilians in the world interact with you? The fact that you can do you know, parkour elements. And get, does that affect the package? No, it doesn't. It doesn't affect anything. It doesn't. But people are clinging on to this. And there's a reason why I have not blown this out of proportion because I'm laughing at the whole situation, at the way people are, you know, acting. If I remember correctly, when I posted a video about Forza, right? I posted a video about Forza and it's supposed downgrade. I had people coming at me with retarded excuses. One dude said I'm clickbait. Another dude, my boy Smooth, shout out to Smooth, uh, he came at me and said, uh, Ryan, uh, it's pretty obvious that the video is zoomed in. First of all, okay, let me tell you something. For those of you that believe that and even thumb that up, let me tell you something. Zooming in on a picture, zooming in on a video game does not affect the tessellation of the game. It does not affect the detail of the game, nor does it affect the quality or performance of the game. That is not the case. That's not the case. The gameplays you saw at E3 compared to what we saw now, one was clearly running on a dev kit, not the Xbox, and now we have the one running on the Xbox. That was the difference. And you know what's funny? About 80% of you got that right. About 80%, which is good. The other people were saying, oh, no, 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 I think it's just you turning down the settings. No, no, nobody's turning down settings. Nobody's turning down anything. One is from E3 on the dev kit which is a high-end PC pretty much, versus the Xbox One X. And ironically, you're still seeing dev kits at Xbox events, which again is why I'm not overhyped for Xbox games like I usually be, or any real, really any game half the time. You know what I'm saying? If the game looks good, hey, I'm interested, whatever. But still, I had not been hyped for an Xbox event. I just haven't been. So back to where we're getting, back to the situation. Spider-Man. <sighs> okay. I have people... 
I have people saying that they're canceling their pre-orders because Spider-Man has quote unquote DLC day one. Okay. If I remember correctly, Insomniac Games told everybody that the game would have day one DLC. They told everybody that the game will be having DLC, period. I mean, when you look on the PlayStation Store, what do you think you're paying for when it says the digital deluxe version? Are you th Do you think you're just paying for three regular suits that you get for just pre-ordering the game? No. Are you paying for the Spider-Man droid? No, not just that. No, there's more to the game coming. They're adding upon the game. And I'm pretty sure they're building upon the Venom movies instead of X amount of things. This is why I don't take so many people serious anymore. I just don't. This is the reason why I've shut down in a bit. You know what I'm saying? Usually I'd be the first one making a video. I'd be the first one in the stream. I'd be the first one down somebody's throat about the situation. But I have toned my shit down. Until I tone my shit down because some of the excuses never cease to amaze me. They always are the same dumb excuses. And people think it's funny, right? People get mad because, oh, you don't share the same opinion. People think I should should be making streams upon streams, you know, towards the Press Star podcast because Kofi got flagged for his video of Spider-Man. Let me tell you something, okay? Listen, 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 okay? When you get a when you get the when you have the honor of having to play the game earlier before everybody, there are rules and regulations that you must follow in order to keep that particular thing happening with your channel. He was lucky enough to be to be able to play the game before everybody else, okay? He was lucky enough to play the game for everybody else. Now, what he did in his spare time playing the game, unfortunately, was just his own wrongdoing. He should have been posting stuff, you know, certain things about the game. He shouldn't be telling you what the backpacks do in the game. He should not be showing you the main menu. You feel me? There are certain things you should not be showing. That violates the point of you having the retail copy uh, day one before anybody else. You know what I'm saying? That violates the, the contract. And since you didn't sign the contract, obviously they had every right to remove it and hit you with a flag. That's just how things work. And the same thing can be said about Microsoft if you had Gears of War 5. Same thing can be said about Microsoft if you had Forza. Same thing can be said about, you know, Sony if you had God of War. X amount of games. Everything is the same. You, you're either under a contract or you're not. And if you're not under a contract, you best believe if you show that game early, they're going to be at your door. I promise you. Now, if he would have played it safe and played like and waited till like the 6th, right? September 6th and uh, waited till around midnight to where it just turned to the 7th, he would have been fine. There would have been no rights whatsoever to strike him whatsoever. He would have been fine. But again, that's just, that's just how I is. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care about the situation. I really don't. I really don't. And no, I have nothing against Press Star Podcast. I have nothing against Kofi. That is his doing, though. At the end of the day, that's his doing. His decision led to his outcome. That's all it is to it. That's all it is to it. Everything, you know what I'm saying? We all make, we all make, um, you know, we all make fucking uh, wrong decisions. And we have to learn from those wrong decisions. That's all. So, if he ever does get another, you know, free copy or, you know, copy day one before anybody else, right? Hey. He now knows what he must do before he can uh, post or say anything about it. And you notice that, you know, everybody who does have the game for everybody else, there are, they're like teasing X amount of things, but they're not talking about it because they're under contract. They cannot talk about those things because they will be hit with legal action. It's how it is, man. It's how it is. But one thing is for certain, and I talked about this on the RGD podcast, Insomniac talks about a day one patch. Now, for those of you keep that keep complaining about puddles, X amount thing, you guys do realize that is an artistic difference. That's all it is. It's a different and artistic, you know, representation of the game. That's all it is. It's all about the presentation. They just change the presentation. You look at the game, you look at the world, everything in that nature, it's the same shit. Same detail, just different presentation, different lighting. And what do they say about <laughs> what do they say about Spider-Man with the HDR? Temporal injection results in different light techniques. This is a different technique. This is why I laugh, man. People don't listen. They don't read. They'll act like they heard what you said one week. And then as soon as they see the product in a different, you know, particular way, oh, it's downgraded. Oh, it's been hit with this thing. No, it has not been. It's not been. 
And um, now this whole situation ain't going to change either. Because as soon as Days Gone gets here, we're going to be right back here talking about the same thing. The moment Ghost of Tsushima comes out, oh, we're most certainly going to be back here again. The moment The Last of Us Part 2 drops, we're most certainly going to be back here again. Every single PlayStation game that has launched has been quote-unquote hit with a downgrade. You don't believe me? Look at these screenshots. Remember The Order 1886? Remember that? Hmm? Remember Detroit Become Human? Hmm? Remember Horizon Zero Dawn? The list goes on. The list goes on. Hell, even God of War, my personal favorite. And then when you play God of War now, does the game look downgraded to you? No, it hasn't. If anything, it's gotten more detail. And that's one thing I want to talk about, talk upon as well. Looking at Spider-Man and the gameplay that we're seeing, because it's like everybody keeps talking about screenshots, right? And certain screenshots, yet I'm looking at the gameplay that we're seeing on YouTube, the new videos that constantly keep dropping from combat, from cutscenes. I just don't see a downgrade. It looks gorgeous. Aunt May has more detail than she did back in 2000. And uh, what was it, uh, 17, 16? She has more detail. So again, what exactly are we arguing about? What's the argument? What's the argument? You're either going to buy the game or you're not. And for those of you saying that you're you're not going to buy the game because of uh, the lack of puddles, you same dudes who are saying that, we're never going to buy the game, period. At all. And I agree with Foxy Games UK. Don't at me talking about you're not going to buy the game. I don't want to hear that shit. That's just, that's really ridiculous that you got to at people and go, yeah, I'm canceling my pre-order. Uh, it has lack of puddles. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and by the way, it has day one DLC. Yeah, but hey, hey let's turn a blind eye to Forza selling you all their DLC for $100, right? Future DLC. Yeah, let's turn a blind eye to that, right? Seriously, what are we doing here? It's bad enough you got grown men making videos saying that, oh, the Xbox One X would have been the best choice for this game. The Xbox One X can't even put out a game on par with Detroit Become Human. How is that the, the, the obvious console to go to? How is it? Can somebody, can somebody uh, explain that to me? I mean, since we want to be honest here, I'm being honest. I'm not bashing anything. I'm just being honest. Anybody saying I'm bashing is an idiot at this point. You're an idiot at this point. I'm being upfront. Come on, be real here. I have been reserved this whole time, this whole situation. I have been reserved. I have not made a video about this shit because I don't care about it. I got my pre-order in. I'm happy with what I'm about to get. On the 7th, I will be playing this. And any clown that thinks they're going to ruin my experience, you got it wrong. I will be reviewing this game. And trust me, graphical fidelity will be the least of my concerns when I review this game. It's all about quality of the game. It's all about the joy of play. If I'm enjoying it and I think it's worth the value, best believe it will get a high score from me. And mark my words, I mean that. If it's worth it, you're going to see a high score from me. And any person that thinks that is wrong, you're not a gamer. You're not. If you're just buying these games because you think they look pretty and you're not buying them for the joy of play, you're not buying them because you think they have a great value, you don't think they offer something, they're not innovative, they're not pushing the industry forward, I don't know what to say to you. I don't. More people want to talk about puddles, but they don't want to talk about the fact that we just got a 45-minute demo of Cyberpunk. Yeah, that tells me a lot about this community. We're talking about puddles, but we don't want to talk about Cyberpunk. We're talking about downgrades, but we don't want to talk about a new looking game like cyberpunk which looks gorgeous we don't want to talk about red dead redemption 2 which comes out in, a, in another month or so we're not talking about that or the new assassin's creed everybody wants to latch on to the same thing why because they want to spoil somebody else's fun and that right there shows how immature people are in this community and why i personally laugh at so many of you morons there's a reason why i personally don't associate with certain people yeah people might not like the people i associate with as of late but trust me there are a lot of people that on the list here that have asked for me to personally to associate with them i do not associate with because i think they're weird something's wrong with them there's some screws loose some serious screws loose okay some serious screws loose that's how I take about it. So, 
I mean, <laughs> what where do we go from here, man? Where, where, where do we go from here? Hmm? Have we just forgotten that we're, that we're getting over the shooting in Jacksonville? Hmm? I don't see any of your favorite YouTubers talking about that now, do you? Do you see any of your favorite YouTubers talking about the shooting in Jacksonville? The fact that a fan threatened to kill himself at a WWE event a day after the shooting? I don't see people talking about that. I see people talking about shit that don't matter. That don't matter. If you're going to tell me you're not going to buy the game because of some puddles, then guess what? You weren't going to buy it back when it was first shown and you saw that tagline, be greater and only on PlayStation. You were never going to buy it from the beginning. That's like me saying, oh, yeah, I'm not going to buy Quantum Break because Quantum Break doesn't have some day one DLC. It's pretty obvious I was never going to buy Quantum Break from the beginning, isn't it? Right? That's me finding excuses to try to add some kind of weight upon my statement going into it. Just simple. It's simple as that, man. Simple as that. The same morons that are attacking Spider-Man are the same morons that went after the, um, the Order 1886. This is, this is the perfect example. They went after the Order 1886. They said the Order 1886 was trash. Let me tell you why the Order 1886 was trash. Because the Order 1886 uh, supposedly was just an hour Worth for gameplay, which is a lie. It's actually not an hour. It's actually longer than that, goons. But they're like, oh, it's an hour-long game, right? It's $60. There's no substance to the game. The werewolves don't do anything. It's like, <laughs> really? Are we really having this conversation? It's crazy how the Order 1886, which came out in 2014, if I remember correctly, that game came out in 2014. And that whole sequence with the werewolf transformation still puts a lot of games to this day to shame. But we don't want to talk about the graphical achievements of that. We don't want to talk about how well consoles have evolved since the PlayStation 3 and the 360. We don't want to talk about these improvements. We want to latch on shit that does not matter. This is why I personally am just disgusted with a lot of people in this community i laugh at you because you guys crack me up every day what the stupid excuses it's like listen if you're if you don't care about the game then why do you have to reassure people that you don't care about the game why do i need to hear that you don't like the game why do i need to hear that why don't you just say why don't you just don't buy the game and move on with your life why you gotta make 40 videos about it why you gotta make 40 posts about it on twitter to try to get a rise out of people if you're not gonna buy it don't buy it who cares same thing can be said about Battlefield 5. If you're not going to buy Battlefield 5, then don't buy Battlefield 5. Do you guys really put sexist comments every damn day? No, you don't. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But hey, that's gaming in a nutshell. That's gaming in a nutshell. You know, these same people that want to cry downgrades. Oh, this game has not been upgraded. X amount of things are these same people that will do the exact same thing to the competition when that platform has something, like has a, has a real, like, critical game about to come out you know if halo i'm telling you right now you're gonna see karma to all these xbox dudes you're gonna see karma if that halo game does not look phenomenal woo -wee, i'm telling you you're gonna see a lot of playstation dudes go after that game you're not you're not gonna see it here on this channel because i don't give a shit but you're gonna see a lot of people make video after video after video saying that game is downgraded it's x amount of things you know he was talking about the Xbox One X is the most powerful thing. Okay, then explain to me how Quantum Break, you know, the current Quantum Break that we got now, yeah, it looks good visually, right? In the you know, in the facial department, right? But explain to me how it doesn't look like when we saw it at E3. We don't want to talk about those downgrades now, do we? Of course not. We're not gonna talk about those downgrades. <laughs> excuse, excuse that interruption. But still, you're not talking about, you know, that that downgrade. You guys aren't talking about these things. Now, you want to just latch on to something that you see now because you believe that's going to ruin somebody's fun. Just grow up, people. Just grow up. If you're not going to buy the game, don't buy it. If you're going to buy it, buy it. Enjoy it. Be a gamer. Stop being a pessimist moron on the internet. That's all I got to say, man. All right? If you like this video, you already know what to do. Hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, hit that dislike button. It's all good. You know, a lot of you probably are very familiar with that because you don't want the truth to be told. So whatever. You know what I'm saying? Definitely subscribe to the channel if you are new and you like the content. I do appreciate it. And follow me on Twitter at RyanThePro55 on Twitter.com. All right? Y'all have a going. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be easy. I'll see you guys later.